cool. The next part of this video, let's see, we've got some singers in our class. It's going to be how we upload an MP3 and a PDF for our students to follow along with. This isn't going to be a self-grading version. It's just going to provide them, like, whatever MP3, maybe piano track or track of us singing for them to sort of practice with. Obviously, having a music XML file, which I'll do in another video, is more useful, but this is one way that we can use my Coral Coach. So from an audio file, you can pick how quick it is. I know I'm going to upload um, a star single banner that I have for my students kind of on hand if we had to record. So if I was going to sing an example, I could just push record and provide that. So let's say I wanted to sing through our warm-ups. I could do that, record myself, and be like, boom, now copy my recording. It's one option. But I can also load an audio file. So I have this MP3 sort of ready. And I can choose to upload this whole piece. It'll pop up the sound waves right here for us, right? And so I'm gonna actually just leave the whole piece on there and I'll show you how to section it off if you want your students to do a smaller part in a second. So it's gonna upload that. And I think I forgot to add an attachment, oops. I think I can still go back and do that though. This part actually takes the longest. Okay, cool. Oh, no, I didn't have to skip that yet. Okay, so we can title it and I have all these extra things. You can simplify that title. You can add an author. Um, Given descriptions, pick how many counting beats there are. I'm going to give my students a little bit more time. Um, right? And then attachment, you can actually upload a PDF of that piece and hit save. And so now the students have access to both an MP3 track and a PDF. So it'd be great for like warm ups and stuff like that if you wanted to just be able to model it and sing it. And maybe you have a PDF of what it looks like. You can go ahead and attach it and push that out to students. Um, and this is pretty much also how it looks to the students but let's say I don't want to assign the whole star single banner in one go I can come down here to more and do mark section and we have the option right now to drag and make this a little bit so let's pretend that that was the first first verse of this maybe I want them to only do that section I can click assign to singer pick which singers I wanted to go to or a whole class of singers choose any commentary I want to give them ahead of time and limit or not limit their attempts and it is going to tell you the teacher how many attempts they took to do it add it and now the students can see they're going to have an assignment pop up for them and so from the student side i'm gonna switch show you what that looks like boom let me go ahead and refresh this and make sure it's relevant they're going to have one repertoire thing right waiting for them they click on it they see that i gave them this little snippet and they can click here's their words and then they can smack this record button when they're ready to. They can sing along a few times on their own. And then when they do the record button, it is just going to send audio back to us. It is not going to pre-grade it. Pre-grading only comes if we upload the physical sheet music, which I'll do in the next video.